when we say God is holy, listen to me very carefully. Hear me right on this one. It means that God is separated from sin. That God is sinless. That God is purer than to look upon sin. But it also means that God has been set aside for you. That he dedicated himself on your behalf. God said in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7, he said, I am Jehovah Makadesh. And that means that the mighty, sinless God sets himself aside for you. It means that the mighty, sinless God dedicated himself to you. It means that the mighty, sinless God focuses his attention on you. It means that the sinless, holy, mighty God, his commitment is to you. First, first and foremost. And I begin to comprehend this. I want to not only shout Jehovah my cottage, but I want to say, Lord, I want to be holy unto you. Praise Jehovah my cottage. Let's say it together. Praise Jehovah my cottage. Then there is Jehovah Shalom. God our peace. And God reveals this name about himself. In the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 24, Gideon built an altar, and he called it Jehovah Shalom. Let me give you the quick background of this. I'm not going to get into the details. At that time, the people of God had no peace. And one day, they had a great idea. They one day faced up to the fact that it was their disobedience to the Lord God which is the cause of the problem. You see, the problem was not the Philistines. The problem was their disobedience. And so they cried out to the Lord. They turned to Him in repentance. They turned to Him out of disobedience. And God heard their prayers, and He sent them an angel. And the angel came in response to their cry. And there, Gideon built that altar, and he called it Jehovah Shalom. Let me ask you something of uttermost importance. If you are not experiencing deep, genuine, abiding peace in your life, it could be one of two reasons. No third Two reasons. Number one, either you do not know Jesus Christ as the Savior of your life and the Lord of your life and the manager of your life and the master of your life, or you know Him, but you're living in disobedience. In either case, God the Holy Spirit right here and right now is ready to give you His peace.